Okay, Fritzy is doing his stand-up act tonight, and he's going to be at the Comedy Store on Sunset. So this is, it. I don't know if it's more famous than Caroline's, probably is, because every great comedian in the last 50 years has performed at the uh, Comedy Store. Fritzy gets five minutes, and uh, I hope you would hear, like, this isn't one of those, at the, at the Super Bowl in Minneapolis, you did like 19 minutes, I think, didn't you? I did something in that ballpark, yeah. maybe 17 yeah. and a half or whatever. So you can't do that, though. You got five minutes, and that's it. I'm assuming they'll give you that blinking light or it, something to let you know it's yeah. time to run. Now they have a trap door. You just, or you, trap you, door. Yeah, yeah. You just fall. Yeah. So that's why we brought up that poll question. Fritzy is uh, doing stand-up tonight. And uh, the other Danettes, I think, going to the Clippers-Warriors game as well. Yes, Pauline? I am going to the stand-up tonight because I missed the last one at Caroline's, and I've heard about the debacle at Caroline's, as it's called, mm. uh, the 30 for 30. Um, but, but <laughs> I, I think, I think Fritzy learned, a, I would assume Fritzy learned a lot from last time. Remember David Spade said, introduce yourself, set yourself up, move the mic and, and hit him. Calamity at Caroline's, <laughs> the Todd Fritz story. If I can just slow down and deal with the angst and enjoy it, I think, I think it'll at least go better than it did. In you're Tom episode. angst. I think that's, that's not who you are. Okay, well, Cause you're waiting around and you're going over it over and over again in your head, what you're going to say and. Gets you a little. You just got to get out of the gate. You just have to. You have to get them and hear that laugh, and and then they're on your side. But that was a problem when you don't get that laugh. Yeah. You're like, All right, four minutes and forty seven seconds still. Just an absolute bloodbath. Yes. Up there. Because oh. because now you got to be doubly funny the next time around. So when you when you whiff and then you come back to the plate again, they're like, okay, you whiffed the first time. This really should be funny. And do you keep going or do you acknowledge the lack of laughter? Oh, I would I would acknowledge the lack of laughter. Yes, yeah, see. Now, part of the problem is that one of uh, Todd's main supporters going tonight is going to be Paul, who doesn't laugh. He just says, that's funny. I know. Oh, that's funny. I have a problem with people who don't laugh. I do. Because Paulie will go, that's funny. And I'll go, but it's not funny enough to laugh. I just laughed at your Tom Hanks line. I thought that was really nice. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't really hear that laugh. Oh, I should open my mic? Yeah. Oh, my bad. But even if you could hold up a sign in the back, ha-ha, I'll take that. <laughs> even if he's not going to actually verbalize his laughter. Okay. All right, so uh, good luck tonight, Todd. We're all counting on you. Not too nervous. This could be the last stand-up routine. Of Ever. Todd. Well, it could be. Because if you whiff back to back on the big stages, You're gonna get around the stand-up yeah, uh, community. Okay. Don't let that guy into your building. I feel like there's a Tim Tebow aspect to you. Like you're getting a little too much attention. Now they're talking about Tebow might be with the Mets, the opening day roster. They give you too much too soon. This is what Tebow happens. spent more time in the minors than you have. Way more. It's like those child stars. They don't know how to deal with. They get all this stuff right away, and then uh, horrible things happen to them after. Who gets roughed up more tonight, the Clippers or Todd? <laughs> <laughs> Todd is getting 18 and a half points tonight from the comedy store. Ooh, that might That's not a... be enough to cover. <laughs> Whoa, what is it? 18 and a half? What are you thinking about? Like 24 and a half, 25? I like 20, 21. Check the Clippers line against Golden State. Well, I think Clippers are favored. He's no Draymond, no Steph. No Steph. Which is maybe a good omen for Todd. Mm. All right. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.